for once in a lifetime get into this world Pan Am makes a growing gray Pan Am makes a growing gray <laughs> what a dip. Did you say something? Uh, I hit a dip. Startled on me. Hallelujah! New to YouTube Nation and YouTube family. If you want to be a YouTube family, you hit that, hit that uh, subscribe and you become a part of the Bruce and Lori family on these rides. If you just want to stay part of the YouTube nation, then don't subscribe. <laughs> but we love, love it if you do subscribe. Can you hear me, babe? Yeah. Uh, I heard uh, two dots on the helmet. I think you... Yeah, I was far behind you. Huh? I was a little farther behind Oh, okay. Well, YouTube family, as you can hear, that's my darling Lori here. She's with me this time. And this time we're taking a very interesting, a very interesting ride. Because we are going to. <laughs> we're going to a ghost town. We're going to Daniels, Maryland. That's a ghost town. It has a deep history. It originated in 1810. And uh, they built certain cotton gins there and everything. It turned into a little community of between, I guess I've heard as much as two to 300 people. Okay. Two or three hundred people to as much as eight hundred people. Uh, I watched it on YouTube. Hi. And it's just ruins now. I remember that wall being in the. Well, here's the United Church. This is the railroad track. Yeah, the one there. Let's see what this plaque says. Talking about the plaque there. Okay, you now stand in front of Gary Memorial Methodist, just as this is the church. This is the Gary Church. One of the remaining structures when mill towns, well, you know why it survived because it's up on that tall hill. not only produce the com commerce of trade, but also develop communities that would shape <laughs> the lives of generations. This mark of testament to the history of a small town cradled by the Patapsco River Valley and the people who would come to know its banks as homes.
Yeah, that one's huge mill. That huge building and only 25 people worked in it. Well, he, when he said it ramped down because uh, it was just not. The original development of Eliesville dates back to 1810 when the family of Thomas Eli came to this part of the country and built a textile mill, textile mill. The family of James S. Gary purchased the town in 1853 and renamed it Alberton in honor of Albert Gary. The factory remained in the family until 1940 when the Daniels Company bought the town and changed its name to Daniels. There's the Gary Church. That's the Gary Church in 1890. That's how it looks now. Maybe we can go up the drive so we can get a better picture of it, right? This vista of Western Alberton shows both the 1879 Gary Memorial Church and the town's public school located uphill. The town's ice house, they had an ice house, is seen in the foreground to the bottom right. Where's the bottom right? Oh, I guess that's it. After suffering a partial collapse, the angled granite retaining wall below, the church was restored by the congregation. That's this church here. I mean, this wall here in 2005. Housing in Daniels, 1968, starting to get boarded up here. Duplexes like these below Gary Memorial existed throughout the town. Notice the carved out steps in the foreground along the low wall of city still in place today. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, well, I wish they had a map of how we can get around this place. While most of the county was located on the Howard County side, that must be across the, the river there. Village residences and churches were also constructed across the Patapsco River in Baltimore County. Is that where we are now? As a result, four areas of housing emerged, Guilford, Calf Hollow, Lower Brick Road, and Upper Brick Road. By the late 1960s, approximately 90 families lived in Daniels. In 1968, residents were given notice that the town's owner, C.R. Daniels Company, would be closing within a few years. The hi history would prove this decision to be wise. In June 72, Tropical Storm Agnes unleashed its force on the Patapsco River Valley, destroying everything in its path. In the wake of the storm, the mill, which operated for nearly 130 years, were closed. Although portions of the town, of the town buildings still remain, wow, okay. Although portions of the town's buildings still remain, the only structure to survive intact would be Gary Memorial Methodist Church. The church on Steadfast Hill. So, come check this out, sweetheart, that you, you missed. This is that wall there. This is how high the river came. Oh, wow. After the, uh, mm. the hurricane. So anything that was down there was just completely covered. Mm. Here's the factory here. That's how. Mm. Wow. 
Yeah, I didn't think it was going to be this many people. Um, but Forrest said he used to bring his kids here uh, and go exploring when they were kids. Okay, let's go up that hill and see the church. I, I again I wish I had a map. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of cars here. Look at all those cars. Everyone must have been watching the same video we were watching. <laughs> Oh, I was going up the other hill, sweetheart. That's that's very steep there. I thought we were going to see the church. Well, there's another road too. That was that one's I wouldn't I would be afraid to go up there. <laughs> well, well I'm gonna go up the other way and see if I meet you. Right, look that look back. See, you're taking off like a jackrabbit. There's a church that's not nearly as steep as that, right over there. Can you come back down? See? That's why we don't let you lead for the people who wonder why I'm always leading. <laughs> Be careful. I would, I would, I honestly, sweetheart, I would walk it down. You need some help? Okay, so th it was this church built in 1879? Is that, I, is that what I read? <laughs> so you, so, so coming up where you came up, you wouldn't have made it up here. You prop, yeah. So they're very strict around here. Wow, well, if this church, yeah, 1879, it's right on the church. So if this structure looks this well, looks this good, you know, imagine how the rest of the town looked. I mean, it was a, it wasn't something, a, a town just thrown together. Amazing. Wow. Makes me wonder, though, uh, if they had any flooding. Because I'm sure they had heavy storms back then, right? These are a bunch of cars here. I think, no, I think that's part of the people who work in that plant there. So we're going to go out to the to the street where we were, you know, the street before we made the left 
hand turn here and that should take us uh, to a pedestrian bridge where we can walk over. To Albertson Road. Yeah, I need, I'm changing glasses. Well, we're certainly exploring today, huh? Well, we're going to make a right-hand turn up here, and that's where we can uh, cross over to the other side. Over this bridge. I'm just keeping straight. Go over the bridge. I didn't turn anywhere. I'm just following the road. Oh, this is Johnny Cake. Oh, I know where I am now. Saying make this right. Okay, and make this right. Going up and back up into the park. Uh, what's that? Am I turning on Johnny Cake Yeah, and then you're gonna make an immediate right. Hi. We were trying to get to Alberton Road. Okay, so um, you go back down yeah. to where Johnny Cake is. Make a left. Le left on Johnny Cake. When you make that at the next T, the right. make a right. That's Dogwood. Make another left and another immediate left. So you're just going to go over like a little stream. Okay. And then you make another quick left into the parking lot. Look, we own that house there. So don't oh, think okay. you're in somebody's property. Okay, okay? great. Okay, thank All you very right. much. Thank okay. You. When my battery gets down to uh, like 35, I think it wise to, to turn around. Did she say make a left or a right onto Dogwood? Okay. Yeah, because she said go across, go across the stream. These hills are battery killers. 
Oh. She said they own the house. Is this the house she's talking about? I don't think so. This isn't the house. Oh, uh, it probably is because it's just charge stations. See the charge stations? Too bad we don't have our adapters and... Uh, But she said there's a parking lot here. So I think this is, I think this is the trail that we want. How you doing? Fine, thanks. Yeah, I think this is where we want to be. Okay. Huh? No, this is it. This because this is the trail the guy walked down. Now I just don't know. Is this the gate? The root trail. Yeah, this is it. All right, YouTube family, are you getting a, a look at this? Wow, this is very different. This looks like it's to a ghost town, doesn't it? Oh, look how close we are to the water. Yeah, this is a trail that not many people take. Or at least take and come back. <laughs> are you getting scared, sweetheart? You're getting concerned though, aren't you? I hope none of this is poison ivy. Yeah. Yeah, me neither. Me neither, honey cakes. It's a family. We might have to get off the bikes and walk past this family.
Is it enough space? Okay, thank you. Thanks so much. There's someone behind me. Thank you. Is, are there ruins down this road? There's some, yeah, some old stuff that's down there. Okay, thank you. It is. They're, they're going to stop. Just don't run over anybody. Yeah, he said it's down this way. Oh, man. It gets pretty messed up back here. Got to get off the bike. Okay, YouTube family, just take a look, see how hard that rock formation goes. You can barely see the top of it. <laughs> and this crazy babe. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. So people were putting, uh, I guess nobody knows about this, some people up ahead. Hi, how you doing? Oh, thank you so much. There's someone else behind me. Thank you. Take care. Okay. We're almost there. Hi, how are you? Hello. Hello. How you doing? Thank you. Fine, how are you? Fine thanks.
so many years ago this was a road this was like a, a street that cars could even even drive down and this is all that's left of it nature is reclaiming what 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 it owns shit Can you hear me, sweetheart? There's a, a log right over the road. No one's, no one, I wonder why no one has bothered to move it. I'm gonna move it. If it can be moved. You're there, babe? You're there? There's a log across the road here. I can throttle it. Here, I'll come back. I'll come back to help you. You got it? You, I believe you got some goat in you, baby. Goat. <laughs> some billy goat. Man, these rocks. Yeah, I know. My feet up over these weeds. How you doing? Good, doing good. Fine. How close are we to the ruins? Huh? How close are we to the ruins? It's like on that you'll be there in less than five minutes oh okay good there you missed uh one of the one of the churches is back there oh really yeah the, the one with like the white walls with the, like a right gray paint over right. it, that's up here oh okay but there's like a like a really like broken down one with a cemetery behind it oh really oh there. that's up there the oh yeah, okay it's, it's kind of hard to find oh you got to turn off yeah we don't yeah. really, okay yeah. you're almost there though all right thanks a lot yep. thank you you too Well, this is one of those trips where you can say that you've done it. But I don't know if I would want to come back here again. <laughs> Lori said, uh-uh.
I'm almost in need of a water break. Okay, there's the railroad. So along here, oh, okay, okay. Well, see the wall here. We, we're here. This is where the this is where the neighborhoods were, and you would have to walk up to get to the houses here. If you remember the uh, the red brick building, uh, the red brick building was along here somewhere where the duplexes were. So yeah, we can hear the people. There's the railroad track. As I said, back when this was a thriving community, this was actually a, a street. It was called Alberson Road, where cars could drive down here and park by their houses. Man, this mud. Woo! Okay. These big tires are good for something. This... Uh, did you make it? Did you make it? No, I didn't. Oh, sweetheart. So you're in the mud? Oh. Yo. Just give it some throttle and go right through it. Oh, okay. Well, we have all this water around. Yeah, and just walk through the creek. Okay, here's the trellis to one of the original. There were two. There was a railroad built here in the 1800s, I believe the 1870s, and that was, that's believed to be the original trellis. And then they built it again, I believe that was 1840. Then they built this other renewed railroad in the 1870s. And I believe that's still in use today. So the people lived back here and they used to walk to work. They would walk under this every day to work. Oh, there's the church. Oh, wow. Jeez. This is really sad to see this like this. So we showed you one church. There were five churches in this community. And this is the other church. Wow. Can you imagine a hundred years ago or so coming to church on a Sunday just like this? walking into this is probably the foyer where you would pick up pamphlets and stuff about the congregate what was going to happen that sunday and then continue this would be the sanctuary right here small church 
Oh boy. Graffiti people have come back. This is probably the where they had their meetings and the minister had his office in this. Mm. As I'm walking through here, I just kind of feel sorrow. I usually don't get those kind of feelings, but. Just walking around. There's a bathtub. Part of a bathtub. There's a lady. Somebody, one of the graffiti people painted a lady, but someone painted right over her. Oh boy. Mm, mm, mm. And all around this area was uh, were houses. It was a community, stores, and all nature that's just reclaimed what was it what what it owned it owned. Can't get that phrase right. What's the phrase, babe? Nature reclaimed its own. Mm. That church was a steeple. They said all five churches had steeples. So that means that uh, the shingles on top of that church are many decades old. Stand in the doorway next to the Hello. How you doing? Good. Good. People that had to get off anyway, there was some logs on the road there. Just down, go down a little bit more, maybe to see the waterfalls. It's part of the waterfalls there. <laughs> He's probably been asking for one. I'm concerned about getting back now. What, how much power do you have? Huh? I have 42. I'm gonna see if I can see the waterfall from here. I wonder if this is the waterfall the guy was talking about. I bet that's the waterfall the Indian guy was asking me about. Okay, well let's walk up and not walk up, ride up. I wonder how much power I have on this video battery. I should probably switch over pretty soon. I'm gonna wait since we're stopped. Let me see how much power I have on this camera instead of letting it run out. Yeah, that that would be a good. Um, I have 45 on my phone too. I think the phones would be okay. Um. Ah.
Ja. Det er fejl. All right. Now through there you can see the dam. That's called the Daniels Dam. People are swimming. The state could at least cut this branch, right? So you can see. <laughs> Someone in their bikini out there. Thanks <laughs> here. In the black picky, she needs to be on the beach with that. Man, people are all against. Yeah, they should they need to cut this branch and just let the whole thing fall. All right. I'm ready to, to say that to call it a day. Do you wanna go up a little further? <laughs> no? Are you ready to call it a day? Well, I'm very close. On the, yeah. Uh, Yeah, they bite, they bit you. Oh, I see your mud. Shoes can get that up throw. <laughs> it's gonna come off. All you gotta do is throw them in the washer. Okay, well, let's just go up a little more to the equivalent of where, I want to see it where it connects. What I don't, yeah, that way. I certainly hope no poison ivy is back here. I know it is though. See stuff like this? Why, why couldn't someone just take this and, you know, it's been there forever and just push it to the side, you know? Man, this is rough. Okay, I've, you, you don't have to come here, sweetheart. I've had enough. <laughs> I give. At least you get a, a closer view of the waterfall. This, uh, when I first started off, I told Lori that, uh, this would be about 33 miles. And we're at 25 miles.
You okay? Let's head back. the things we've been through, right? Right, babe? I wish this bike had reverse. One last look, people, because you won't see it again from me. They say never say never, but I don't think I would brave this again. This is pretty uh, adventurous intense. <laughs> I'll put it that way. I'm getting off, I'm not gonna go down here. That's an accident waiting to happen. That, that's a sticker bush, so be careful. So that guy said the other church, we went, we went past it without seeing it, right? So that was a pretty big community because that, that was about a quarter, quarter of a mile away. So I hope that I'm doing P1 going back because that's going to help conserve the batteries too. And it's about all the fast that I need to be going on this trail anyway. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. I was like, not again. You cried the blues the last time. Here comes the mud coming up, but just just go a, a good pace and let yourself just go through it, okay? Build build up some momentum and just let yourself coast through it, and you and you'll be just fine. Pick up some momentum. You pick, you building up that momentum. Oh, you're, so you haven't reached it yet. Build up that momentum. Tell me when you're through. Oh, you had to stop and look for your sunglasses. You through? No. Oh. You're pretty far back. I was in P1, babe. You want to be around here when it gets dark? You through? I don't think you would have made it in the stagecoach days. I don't think you would have made it if uh, you were on Walking Dead either. Mm -hmm. 
you would have been one of the first victims. Oh, maybe that's the other church. See that building way up there? Maybe that's the, is that the church? That was something, right? I mean, because that's a perfect square. Wow. This was probably considered a hillbilly community too, living in all these hills. But it's so close to Baltimore. That's the, the daunting thought. I mean, they were right in, right I wonder if they had like a sheriff and stuff, their own police force. Here comes to just pick up your feet going through these weeds. This, that's actually pretty cool. <laughs> oh. Look, look, look at that square. I wonder what that's to. See, the tree is right on top of it. See it? A doorway. You don't see the doorway? Let's walk up in there. I wonder what that's to. There's a wall all back there. That's probably where houses were all back up in there. Wow. Oh, well. No, I wouldn't know. So many ticks and everything are probably up. And some, you know, some things are living in there, like foxes and stuff. Could be. Here's where these rocks are. Whoa! Damn, these rocks are rough. Boulders. Here's where that log in the road is. is rough. Just give it some throttle one and it'll go right over. This must be part of the plant because it's been going a long, it goes, it's been there ever, ever since the waterfall. Well, I think that's the worst of it, sweetheart. All we need now to make this trip complete. Look, there's a turned over truck. That's a that's a that's a turned over truck. See it? Oh. They didn't show the truck on the on the other videos. 
See that YouTube guys? The truck there. It's a it's a like a double wheel truck. See it? A truck. You okay? I hope it's really just coming out. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think it just washed it. Okay, there, uh, that looks like fun, doesn't it? Inner tubing it on the river. Down the, 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 the Swanee River. <laughs> now that looks like fun. Me neither. This, uh, my bike is the front wheel was starting to shudder. What the heck's going on? No, it's doing it's doing it now. It keeps doing it. We just have to get out of this hell hole. <laughs> I didn't know if it was going to... I didn't know it was going to be this rough. Hi there. Hi. It gets rough back there. <laughs> you know, we haven't yeah. been here for years. Oh, like, really? Yeah. Back all the time. And this used to be oh, at least half, another half wide. Really? So, wow. Yeah. yeah, it was never like this. Yeah. You could, you could get right from the beginning to the end, and you could have families going both ways. Cause we used wow. To go back and forth here all the Wow, time. they're just letting it go. And yeah. part of the path, I mean, it's just this weed. You, I, even on the bicycle, I had to pick up my feet going through it. Yeah. yeah wow. It's just, we're oh, so you're used to coming back there here, huh? We haven't been a long time. Yeah. Well, it's we probably, we used to live right around the corner. neighborhood over here. Oh, yeah, okay. The See, boys, there I think, yeah. <laughs> Somewhere around, <laughs> around, 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 around the corner. Both power lines that we just crossed were behind our house. So oh. our house is right that's there. True, that's wow. Because yeah. they're on the other side now. But anyway, yeah. Oh, and okay. So it's, yeah, we're, it's just crazy. We said, oh, let's go. How long had the electric bikes? Uh, we got them back in November. They are oh, nice. Yeah, back in November. Yeah, they're a lot of fun. Have you, uh, one of my favorite trails for biking is Lake Elkhorn. Yeah. Have you done that? Yeah, I've done that, yeah. Like 108 all the way down, and you go down to 32. Yeah, actually, I live over by BWI, so we've, we've been able to come over from there, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's where I live, so we drove them over from there. So yeah. we've done like 25 miles so far. <laughs> Today? Oh, Today, yeah. From there? Yeah, here, yeah. Wow. Yeah, from the airport wow. here. So. <laughs> you, then you have, you're going on a lot of main roads too? Uh, it, a mixture. Yeah. yeah. It takes us the back roads and trails and things like that. Yeah, the, the, the application that we have. Great. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. You should check it out. Yeah. Yeah, we're well, getting... We've tried them once and our son has just got one. Through work. Yeah. Oh, so okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. And yeah. We, we still just do the old fashioned. <laughs> sweat it out. Sweat it out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. As long as you're getting up. Trying to get her a bike for 10 years. But what bike? I have a bike. A new bike. Oh, a new one. A new regular one. Yeah, yeah we are. We plan to take these up to Frederick. <laughs> yeah. yeah I think one's really nice about them is that 
mean, yeah. you can really cover some ground. Yeah, you can. You can really go places, you know. Yeah. Or, yeah. Yeah. More comfortable. And you don't feel wiped out, you know, after the ride's over. You yeah, know, like... we've done some rides. Yeah, exactly. We did the long walk um, Lake Elkhorn, and that was 20 miles. Wow. From here, from, from our house in Old Ellicott yeah. City. So uh -huh. it, it was, yeah, we, yeah, so it just depends. And I mean, it's good, but it'd be yeah. Nice <laughs> yeah, 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 well, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, to the to the max. So yeah, well, thank this. Thanks for talking with us, yeah, giving us some too. history here. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, thanks a lot. Day. Okay, have a great have a great Bye. weekend. Bye. Here's some other bikes behind you. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Pretty good. Thank you. So they made it made it sound like this trail was like the one back on the uh you know, back in the other part of Patapsco. They just, they just not taking care of it. You know. Uh, but it's still the same state park. This is just a different part of Patapsco. You know, um, Maryland really cut back on a lot of the services from the pandemic. A lot. And my front tire just keeps shuddering which is making me concerned. And now it's making noise. You better toughen up, babe. <laughs> You're not cut out for this. When we get on the street, I have to examine this front wheel because it's it shutters. Yeah, it's five fifteen. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, they didn't even have running water back then. Yeah. But they lived right on the river. I wonder if the river, how heavily polluted it was back then. If they could, you know, use it.
hope not too. Oh, let me see. I think I know what that clunking sound was. I think one of those, maybe one of those handles came off. I mean, it was bumping. What? Well, it's. That, I think that's what it was. It was knocking against the. Yeah, the whole thing looks different what? down there. What are you talking about? That bottom thing right down there. Oh, this. It's probably bent. Yeah, it bent. I would just have to fix that. Yeah, wow. But see, I don't know when it did it. Something else to fix. Isn't that beautiful there, though? That you know, can you imagine the Indians when they lived here and they or they had their canoes and they would come back and just for thousands of years. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Just because I'm from here, make you start reading about it. I don't think these bikes are, are built to go th through these rugged things. This rugged terrain like this. Pretty flowers. I didn't notice those coming up. Did you notice these flowers? Yeah. I was so focused. When I, I notice when I get focused, I get like tunnel vision and I don't see anything. My focus and concentration just is so pinpointed, laser-like, like a laser beam, penetrating the air on a molecular level. Psh. That other church, look at the, the rows of algae under that water. Well, we have some hills to go up going back home, and I hope these batteries survive. Much to your relief, it's come to an end, sweetheart. <laughs> I'll go this way, it's less muddy. The house is empty. Wonder what's down there. I'm not, I've had enough. I'm not, I'm not up for exploring anymore. I wish I could just snatch, snap my fingers or let a fart or something and be home, right? I accidentally touched the screen and um, it started rotating. Well, at least we did it, baby.